I am Zarina Sidesheva, lecturer of IT and Digital Resources in Teaching Foreign Languages course. Welcome to the first lecture, Use of Information Technologies and Digital Resources in Teaching Foreign Languages for the third and fourth cor year course students. Outline. Today we will discuss the following questions. Information technologies and digital resources in teaching foreign languages. Issue of using new information technologies in education process. And the third, internet technologies used in teaching foreign languages. Key words for today's lecture. IT. Information technologies, it refers to anything related to computing technology, such as networking, hardware, software, the internet, or the people that work with these technologies. ICT – Information and Communication Technologies ICT refers to technologies that provide access to information through telecommunications and focuses primarily on communication technologies. This includes the internet, wireless networks, cell phones, and other communication mediums. Internet, a global computer network providing a variety of information and communication facilities, consisting of interconnected networks using standardized communication protocols. Teaching languages in the 21st century is a rapidly changing and innovating process. New technologies and internet offer everyday new possibilities and tools to support students in their process of learning a language. For language teachers, it is crucial to learn and get trained about the best apps, web platforms and digital tools that could support them in their job and make it easier, more effective and engaging to teach a foreign or native language. By taking part in this course, students will gain an outlook on best apps, web platforms and digital resources to empower and support language learning. Through an hands-on approach and learning by doing methodology, participants will develop concrete ICT and digital skills that they will be able to use in the classroom to teach languages. The popularity of the internet and computer technologies among young people and in society as a whole has created serious grounds for the successful integration of ICT into educational process. When teaching foreign languages, an important place is given to ICT, which allows the introduction of new technologies, new techniques, shifting the emphasis to the independent work of the student, making the training diverse. This situation increases the effectiveness of the classroom work and makes the independent work of students more efficient. There is an opportunity to use the Internet as a teaching tool both for training all types of speech activity and for research work and education. The application of information and communication technologies in education has in modern conditions an increasingly significant impact on the quality of the national educational system. The integration of Kazakh education into the world educational system is connected with the observance of the fundamental international standards requirements. At the lessons of foreign languages, one should integrate the linguistic, social, cultural and communicative approaches, taking into consideration teaching a foreign language for specific purposes. To achieve these goals, it is very important to use the whole potential of Internet resources. The Internet offers users various options that can be used by students and teachers. Email, participation in video conferences, publication of research articles in the online system, numerous reference catalogs and search systems. 
If we will speak about the system of e-education, there are following education categories. The first, primary adaptation level. This level allows the teacher to learn and use computer technologies, internet and different programs in teaching foreign languages. The second level, research. The teacher learn, learns the basics of working with ICT in practice. And the last, the third, creative level. The teacher learns to create electronic teaching aids, websites and etc. Information technologies are classified into the following technologies due to diversity of information processes. Collection of information, delivery of information, information processing, generalization of information, repository of information, information supply, use of information, protection of information. To implement a specific information technology, you need a set of appropriate technical means to implement the information process itself. The complex system of technical management and organizational and methodological support that connects the implementation of all activities of technical means. The following methodological and pedagogical tasks can be solved in informatization of the educational process. The first, access to comprehensive information in education, increased motivation to learn, work independently, self-control, and etc. Next. Personal development, development of personality, aesthetic education, research skills, formation of information culture, etc. Implementation of social order, formation of computer skills, training in a particular field, and etc. And the last, improving of educational work, improving the quality and effectiveness of education, Providing motivation for cognitive activity, deepening interdisciplinary ties, and etc. Effective use of information communication technologies. Formation of knowledge, skills, and abilities. Deep of knowledge. Effective use of class time. Improving self-esteem and creative work of students. Mastering practical skills. The increase of students' interests in the discipline. Ability to quickly obtain the necessary information. The ability to use teaching materials. Saving time. And the last, checking the knowledge of the subject through tests. Information communication technologies tools. The first, teaching. Candace knowledge provides a sufficient level of mastery and forms knowledge, skills, abilities, or practical activities. Simulators, designed to, de to develop different skills and abilities by repeating the previous topic. Search and reference information, information and report information of skills and for information systematization. Demonstration, visualize objects, phenomena, processes in research. Imitation shows certain aspects for the functional characteristics. Laboratory allows you to conduct remote experiments with the help of real equipment. Modeling allows you to model objects, phenomena, processes for research and analysis. Quantitative automates various reports and other accounting operations. And the last, learning games reinforce students' actions through play. The basic set of services includes the following. Email, teleconference, Usenet, Skype, video conferencing, Skype, Zoom, web server, information resources, reference catalogs, Yahoo, InfoSeq, UltraSmart, LookSmart, Galaxy. Search systems, AltaVista, HotBob, OpenText, WebCrawler, Excite, and etc.
Computer technology combines the hardware of computers and computer control devices with software operating systems, offering tools, expert systems and courseware to support training technology. A computer is a machine that can be instructed to carry out sequences of arithmetic or logical operations automatically via computer programming. Modern computers have the ability to follow generalized sets of operations, called programs. A complete computer, including the hardware, the operating system and equipment required and used for full operation, can be referred to as a computer system. Computer technology is often through the donation of technology to developing areas. Many institutions, government, charitable and for-profit organizations require technology development, often involving hardware or software design, and the coordination of donors, distributors and deployers. Computing is any activity that uses computers to manage, process and communicate information. It includes development of both hardware and software. Computing is a critical integral component of modern industrial technology. Effective use of new information technologies. They are general cultural development of students, improving computer skills, improving language skills, individualization of training, different tasks, student self-expression, increased motivation to learn a foreign language, saving teacher material consumption, aesthetic appearance of educational materials, improving the process of checking students' work, and the last, improving the reputation of the teacher. Introduction of information technology in the process of teaching a foreign language. Today we will speak about technology, the use of the technology and function. The first, electronic dictionary. The use, lexical meaning and to enrich students' vocabulary. Electronic translator, correction of translation. Main function, development of translation services. Computer templates, business letter, fax, etc. Filling out forms, writing business letters, and etc. Function, learning to write personal and business letters while working with documents. The next technology, MC Word Text Editor. Ability to write in a given format. MC Word is a Windows application for preparing, editing and printing text documents. Function, assign, start and end the Word Editor. The next, Graphic Editor, a program that allows you to work with graphics and to correct and supplement them. Graphics editing software. The graphics editor displays pens, computer mouse in different colors on the display screen, draws with. Presentation editors. Presentation on the given topics. Assign, start and finish working with the, with the PPT editor. Video and audio files. Understand and listen to the meaning of the film. To develop the ability to listen and understand the meaning of the film, the perception of culture. The next technology, internet search systems, Google, Yandex, and etc. Search for information on projects. Function, development of the ability to collect information. Podcasts, listening comprehension of thematic and topical materials. The main function to develop the ability to understand and listen to authentic texts on thematic and topical issues. Email. Personal and business correspondence via the Internet. Formation of communication skills in communication by email. Chat technology. The use. Informal communication in a virtual group. Function, formation of oral and written chat skills. And the last, SMS on mobile phone. Personal informal communication. Formation 
of writing skills. The term digital learning resource is used here to refer to materials included in the context of the course that support the learner's achievement of the described learning goals. These materials consist of a wide variety of digitally formatted resources including graphics, images or photos, audio and video, simulations, animations, prepared or programmed learning models. A digital society is an interdisciplinary research area and a kind of progressive society that has been formed as a result of adaptation as well as integration of advanced technologies into the society and culture. Among the emerging technologies and field that responsible for developing a true digital society is include information communication technologies, information science and computing, business studies and several areas of humanities and social science. Digital society is mainly dealing with the highly advanced telecommunications and wireless connectivity systems and solutions. Summing up the first lecture, we can say that digital education resources compared with the forms, methods and means of educational and methodical support. It can significantly increase the technological effectiveness of teaching and mastering knowledge. All the time, their functions will specialize in connection with the development of methods of distance education itself, which will lead to mastering new technologies in the process of their creation. Digital educational resources are an important practical resource, the use of which should be an essential condition for repetition of FLT. Here you can see the list of the questions that you need to answer after the lecture. What is the information technology and information communication technologies? What types of information technologies do you know? What do you mean by cyber cybernetics and nanotechnology? The next, what can be attributed to digital resources? The fifth, history of information technology development. The next, classification of information technology. The seventh, create a glossary of words used in information technology, digital resources, the internet and computers. And the last task for you to make a test of 10 questions on the topic and send me to my email. The last slide for you, uh, references that you can use in our lectures and practical lessons. Thank you for your attention.